Click on the Borehole Manager tab at the top of the program window. Select the Project Folder Recent Projects option. Choose the Samples project. Select the Map Borehole Locations option. We're now looking at the two-dimensional borehole location map menu. Make sure that everything except for the border is disabled. Click on the borehole symbol and label options. Make sure that everything except for the symbols, log traces, and borehole IDs are turned off. Click on the label options. Here, the user can specify font size, color, and a number of other options. Choose a font size, somewhere between 0.5 and 2 are typical sizes, and color, and click on the OK button to close this options window. Let's look at some other options by clicking on the Border Options button. Note the options on the separate tabs for visible items, axis titles, colors and dimensions, tick style, border dimensions, and miscellaneous. Don't change the default values already assigned to the program. The values already assigned should work fine. Click on the OK button to return to the borehole location map. Click on the Process button to create a borehole location map. A new tab labeled Borehole Location Map will now appear along with the site map of your area. Rockworks maps and other 2D graphics are plotted within this type of plotting window, which we call a Rock Plot 2D window. Depending upon your screen size, you may want to hide some of the other dialogs to gain more space for viewing the diagram. Let's start by pressing the small X within the upper right corner of the Rock Plot 2D window. And now, let's hide the location map rules and filters. Let's experiment with selecting and moving text items within the map. To do this, position the cursor on the item to be grabbed and left click to select it. The selected item will be displayed with handles on each corner. The cursor will change shape to a pointer. To move that item, use your left mouse button to drag it to its new location. If you would like to change a global variable in the map, then adjust the menu options to the left and re-click the process button. In this example, the symbol size is increased to 5, the thickness is increased to 5, the log traces are changed to orange, and the label background color is changed to yellow. Once you've created a map that you like, save the map as an RW2D file by going to the File Save menu at the top of the Rock Plot 2D window. Name the file Site Map. You don't need to add the .rw2d extension. That will be automatically appended by the program. 